ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا صديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد today inshallah we will start the fourth lecture about qadr and we are learning and we are having the lecture that is arkan al iman the articles of iman and qadr is the sixth article tu'minuna bil qadri wal khair tu'minuna bil qadri khairi wa sharrihi that you believe in the qadr the good and the bad of it and uh, we are understanding this uh, from the quran and the sunnah according to the understanding of the salafus salihin uh, according to the understanding of the pious predecessors who came before us meaning the sahaba their students and those who followed them in guidance with goodness so today is the fourth lecture last time we stopped at the point number 8 that how many groups are created among the ahli qibla uh, the people who say la ilaha illallah into how many groups they are divided with regards to the qadr we only talked about one which is the uh, al qadriya and we did not talk about in detail about jabriya so we will do some refreshment of the qadr of the qadriya then we will continue with the topic of today which is the same thing that how many groups are they divided in so the first thing is that people the ahli qibla those who say la ilaha illallah are divided into three groups the first is al qadriyatul ula meaning the first qadriya this is the first group and they are divided itself into two groups the first group uh, qadriya are divided into two groups and remember qadriya are the one who deny the qadr who deny qadr the first qadriya qadriya al ula as we said are the one who deny all the four articles of qadr Does anyone remember the four articles of Qadr that I uh, taught in the last lecture? Y- yes. yes. Knowledge. Knowledge exactly. Writing. Writing. writing uh, exactly. The creation. The creation exactly. The will. The will of Allah. Jazakum Allah khair. May Allah increase you in knowledge. So these are the four articles of Qadr. The first Qadriyat al Ula, they rejected all of it. They rejected all the four articles of Qadr. The second qadriya, a qadriyat uh, thaniya, are the mu'tazila, and I, I gave a homework. Anybody did it? Did anybody found the names? Yes. I found books. I don't know. Okay. Yes. Okay. Which names have you got? Fafa bin Ata. Okay. Mashallah. Jazakum Allah khair. Imam Abdul Ibn Hanbal rahmatullahi alayhi okay, what about him No he was a very good scholar <laughs> He was not among those who were misguided rather he was the one of the great imams of the Ahlus Sunnah wal Jama'ah Imam Abdul Ibn Hanbal rahmatullahi alayhi He was the one who defeated them who rejected and who refuted the Mu'tazila He was a defender of the Sunnah the reviver of the Sunnah at that time He was not a misguided person na'udhu billah All right okay So the second qadriya qadriyat thaniya they accepted two articles and they rejected two articles they accepted the first two articles of qadr which is knowledge they say that allah has the knowledge of everything that is happening that will happen they say allah has written it down in lauh al mahfuz it is written but they say allah does not will it and allah does not create it this is a problem where they had the qadriyat thaniya the second qadriya the ahli ilm the people of the sunna they say that the first qadriya are finished the maybe they will be out of a million one or two but the qadriyat thaniya meaning the mu'tazila they are still here 
and they are around us also. So they say that Allah knows and He has written on everything. But He does not create, He does not will. Who does it? Human being wills and human being creates it. So now how many crea creators do we have? One who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who can create everything. But He cannot create our action. And the second creator is who? Human being. Who cannot create everything but only create the action. So now because of uh, this belief the Qadriya they have created two creators. They said there are two creators in this world. And the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Mujus wa hadhihi al-ummah that these are the Majus, these are the Majusi, the Magians, the, those who worship the fire of this Ummah. Why did the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say this? Because the Majus, the Magians who worship the fire, they have the belief that there are two Ilah. One Ilah of goodness, one Ilah of the bad. The, la, the Ilah which is good, it brings the sunlight. The, la, the Ilah which is bad, it brings the darkness. The ilah of the good brings the water, the ilah of the bad brings the fire. So whatever they have the bad thing, they say it is from the bad ilah. And whatever is the good thing, it is from the other ilah, the first ilah. So Majus, they have this belief. And the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the Qadriya, they were also are like the Majus. Why? They are creating two creators, two ilah. One is who? Allah, who, who creates everything except our actions. Second is human being, who can create nothing except the action. And what does it mean? And they say, if anyone is guided on the right path, Allah does not have the power to misguide him. And if anyone is misguided, Allah does not have the power to guide him. Why? Because they say it is a human being who is doing everything. Human being is creating the action. Human being is praying. Human being is performing hajj. Human being is giving zakat. So Allah does not create it, Allah does not will it. It is only human being who does it. So since Allah cannot will it, Allah cannot create our action, so He cannot guide a misguided person and He cannot misguide a guided person. Because it is not Allah who creates, it is the human being itself who creates. So this shows that Allah is helpless in front of our actions, meaning we are stronger than Allah. If we want to do something, Allah cannot stop us. Stop us. So this is the, the misguidance in this belief. Okay, and why did this happen? This is the main question. They accepted, there is called Al-Irada. And we will come inshallah, in, in this lecture we talk about it. One is Al-Irada Shara'iyya. Second is Al-Irada Kawniyya. Right now, I will not discuss, in the end of the lecture, I have the whole uh, thing about it. So, I'm just telling you right now, that they had a problem in this, al-irada, meaning the will, the will. And we will talk in detail about it, inshallah. That what is the will, and what is this, uh, shari'iyya, and the other kuniya. And remember, Imam Shafi'i, rahmatullahi alayhi, says, If you want to debate, or if you want to talk with the qadriya, talk with knowledge. Knowledge of what? Knowledge of qadr. If they say, that Allah does not have the knowledge, this is kufr. Because denying the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kufr. Why? Wallahu kulli shayin alim. Allah knows everything. So if they deny that Allah does not have the knowledge, that means Allah is not known of everything, they are rejecting the Quran, this is kufr. And if they say, yes, Allah knows, and Allah has written it down, which they believe, the qadr it faniya which they believe. So we, they must have to accept that Allah also wills it and creates it. Why? Because as I said, if Allah does not will and create, that means Allah is helpless in front of our actions, which is kufr again. So if they accept this, then they are defeated. And if they reject it, still it is kufr. So Imam Shafi'i rahmatullah says, fight with them or debate with them with knowledge, with the knowledge of qadr, with proofs and evidences. <coughs> and the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told about the hadith. Okay. The second group is Jabariya and these are with regards to Qadr the first uh, is a Qadriya Qadriya are divided into two groups and then the Jabariya okay the Jabariya are the total opposite of Qadriya the Qadriya says that Allah cannot create our action we are the one who do it we have complete free will why because they say the Qadriya they say that Allah if Allah